She's here. She's just going in. Right. Just give her a minute and go for it. So what you're saying is that you want me to have an abortion? Oh. Well, what else? You've already said you don't want this No, baby. Leanne! Well, OK, yeah, I know that's what I said. Yeah? But I didn't mean to say I, I don't want it. I only meant to say why. I don't care why. I mean, all along, we, we've talked as though just because you've happened to get pregnant, we've got to have this baby. I, I, I'm just saying that we don't necessarily... We have a choice. The same as everybody else. You mean the choice of me having an abortion? Well, yeah, it'd mean that, yeah. Yeah. Lee, what we're talking about, it's not going to be just us cooing over a baby for a few weeks. It, it's going to be us having somebody, another human being, to, to care and provide for when we don't even have a home of our own. I mean, if I'd asked you, say, two months ago, did you want a baby? What's two months ago got to do with what it? What would you have said, eh? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? You'd have said no. And you know you would, because we both agreed when we talked about it, we both said we weren't ready to start a family yet. So I'm just saying that if, if we said that then, you getting pregnant doesn't just suddenly stop it still being true. We weren't ready for a baby then, and if we're really honest... Morning. Hi, Ashley. Mm. Well, what's wrong with me? Slept right through the line this morning. And if we're really honest, we still might not be. Well, I know when we know there's a client going to be coming. Which is going to be most of the day. Well, one of us has to, else it doesn't matter what this board says. Half of them will just go straight into the salon. What do I do if Audrey comes out? I'm sure you'll think of something. Thanks. Hiya. Lee, I I'm just saying we've got our whole lives. Yeah, well, we still have. Even with a baby. I mean, some people say it's better to start your family off early, then they're all grown up and gone by the time you're 40. Yeah, 40. Yeah, well, look at our Janice. She's only got our toy now, and she'll be gone in a year or two. Oh, yeah, like you really want to nut like your parents, don't you? Oh, no. Don't you dare talk to me about my parents, cos we all know where this has come from. Where? Your mum. She's the one who's filled your head with all this. She hasn't. Telling you that you've got to get your qualifications and the jobs to come first. She hasn't said anything like that. The minute you open your gob, I can hear her saying it! <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. It, it, it's not, Gail. I don't know why you think it should be. Because of the way you've suddenly changed your tune. One minute you want in this baby as much as I do, and then the next minute you tell me to get a book. I'm not telling you anything, Leanne. I'm just saying we should talk about it. Yeah, which is what we are doing. Only when you say talk about it, you mean for me to agree with you. Which is something I'll never do, Nick. No matter how much we talk about it. No, she's in charge, sole proprietor. You mean will be one day? One day soon. No, I mean as soon as the deeds are drawn up and we've both signed them. Oh, you tell him he thinks I'm having him on. She's not. She's given it me. Huh? Well, she was going to inherit it one day, so I thought, why not give it to her while I'm still around to see it? Interesting argument. Please, could you do me a favour? Mm -hmm. Don't mention it to my daughter. It might start her thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Bye. Bye. You're serious? It won't be long. Well, it shouldn't be. Anyway, your staff's here now. You all right? Yeah. Hey, we're going to be doing some spring cleaning today, so I hope you're full of energy. <sighs> no, not really. Great being boss, isn't it? I always enjoyed it. Aye. To your mum and dad, thanks for everything. Lots of love, Tracy and Robert. Well, well, I suppose you sent them to me because I'm the one most likely to be at home, but I think you should have them. Why? Well, you were in the thick of it with Tracy here all the time, and uh, anyway, I think you'll arrange them better than me. 
Do you know, when I heard your voice, I thought she'd rung up to say it had all flared up again. Oh, I hope not. And if it ever does, let's pretend we've gone away together. <laughs> it's all right, I said pretend. <laughs> I don't think it will. I think they'll be much more careful with each other in future. Well, I hope so. I mean, a lot of marriages do still manage to stick together, don't they? So they tell us. Let's hope theirs is one of them. To be honest, I didn't expect to find you in. No, day off. Ah, so how do you feel about a bit of lunch somewhere? My treat. Oh, I've got loads to do. OK, a meal tonight? Call it a post-mortem? No, that doesn't sound very jolly, does it? A, a celebration or, oh, I don't know, just a well-earned rest. Yeah, OK. Hiya. What's all this? Um, you're with Tom, right? I was, yeah. Right, well, it's um, upstairs today. Don't mind, do you? No, I don't mind, but what's wrong with downstairs? Well, that's Audrey's bit, and we've kind of split in two. Oh! Yeah. What's going on? You're not closed, are you? Are you booked in with Audrey? Yes. I asked for Tom, but somebody beat me to it. Weren't you worried? Looks like it. I might have guessed. Right, well, you're in the ordinary salon, and Natalie, you're with me, if you'd like to come this way. Right. So that's 12 meat potato, 12 meat, 6 steak and 6 steak and kidney. Just like to sign there, please, Mr Cropper. Right. You all right? Can you sit down a minute? Of course I can. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hello. 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 I've uh, had a word with the curate. The cu oh, oh, yeah, what, uh... Well, I said that you were friends of mine, that you wanted to get married in church, but um, that there were some unusual circumstances. And, and, and didn't she didn't want to know what they were? Well, I'm sure she will, but I thought the details would be better coming from you. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, I suppose. Yeah, yes. Well, I, I'll give you her number, shall I, and then you can arrange to go and see her. Oh, right, right, yeah. I've uh, got a pen. That's lovely. Yeah. I'll Thanks. see you next week. Right, That's lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Vera, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. I'm on my own today. Yeah, so I say, had a falling out of you. Uh, I'm making a stand, actually, Vera. That's what I'm doing. Put your hands in. Right. Honestly, do you know, I don't understand young people today. You try and help them, all you seem to get is ingratitude. Anyway, what are we doing with you today? <clears throat> well, I'll just have the usual, you know. Right. If I have it any different, I think I've got a fancy man. Oh! <laughs> have you not? <laughs> you haven't got the energy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so, uh, that's why they're upstairs, then, I see. Well, that explains it, then, if uh, you've had a falling out. Upstairs? Sorry, Vera, who's gone upstairs? Well, Maxine and young Tom. Don't tell me you haven't seen the sign outside. The nurse stood there directing folk up. Didn't you know? Would you just excuse me a minute? Maxine and Tom are now upstairs. Oh, are they really? Yeah, well, what do you expect us to do? You threw us out. Well, I certainly didn't expect this, Maxine. Now, this is a blatant attempt to undermine my business and using my premises to do it in an all. Tom! Oh, Tom! I want to work with Tom! Tom! <laughs> I say that setting up here over my head. Yeah, well, it's my flat, so I can do what I like. Oh, it. really? We'll see about that later. No, we're not taking any customers away from you. You are? Who's this? She was coming to me anyway. She was coming to my salon. Well, I thought I was coming in for a bit of peace and quiet. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right. Well, you can finish her, but then that's it. I'm not having any more of this. We're not doing anything wrong. Yes, and it's my flat. Oh, not for much longer, because I'm going to have you out of here, lady. You can bet on that. And as for you, if you think you can just swan in anywhere and set up where you like, well, you are sadly mistaken, laddie. Because I am going to have the health and safety down on you and they will fine you into the bargain. So you might as well pack up now the pay you right now. So, uh, have you booked any holidays yet? Well, cheers. Actually, I've been thinking about it all night. Oh, that sounds as if you've been having a funny day. Perhaps what I should have said is that I've been thinking about what you told me, how you're giving the shop to, what is she, your stepdaughter? Foster daughter. 
Rita, forgive me for saying this, but are you sure you're not making a terrible mistake? So, she's taken to ringing you instead of me now, has she? Well, she's certainly taken to ringing me, yes. More or less every day. Oh, Emily, I am sorry. I didn't mean to palm her off on you. I'm very fond of your mother. And of course, all she ever wants to talk about is you and Ken. Oh, don't tell me. And whether you've got back together? No. Tell her, won't you? No. Oh, I do. Although, we are going out for a meal tonight. Oh, really? Oh, now, don't you start. And don't tell me, Mother, or else you'll only read all sorts into it, when all it is is neither of us can be bothered to cook. Hmm. I'm not going to live forever, and I'd like Sharon to be the one that has the shot when I've gone. When you're gone, that I can understand. But why now, when you're still in the best of health? Well, if I don't, she'll go off and do something else, and she won't be here for when I've gone. I see, so you're giving her the shop just to keep her here. Now we're getting the truth. Well, it's part of the truth, yeah. A major part. And let me warn you, Rita, it won't work. Young people do what they want. You can't bribe them, and you can't force them. How do I know? Because I've tried doing both and failed miserably. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't like that word, bribe. I'd say I'd given her the shop as a mark of my affection for her. Of course you have, which is why you haven't stopped to think. For instance, what happens if she sells the shop and moves away? She won't. I know she won't. She's loving being in charge. This week, yes, but next week she'll want something else. I'm sorry, but we're talking about somebody you don't even know. Yes, Rita, which is why I can take the objective view. And I'm telling you that what you're doing is extremely unwise. Within six months, a year at the utmost, she would have sold the shop and headed off over the hills with a check in her back pocket. Hi. Hiya. Oh, hello, love. Come to take her home. Well, go on, then. I'll finish off. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be looking up soon. Hey, you look after her. She's uh, not been too bright today. Right. Yeah, she's on a bit of a downer. There's probably a medical term for it. Prenatal strop or something like that. <laughs> Hiya, Reet. Yeah, you've timed that well. There's nothing else to do. Why do you think I've waited till now? <laughs> right, see you then. See you, love. See you. See you. Bye. <sighs> so what have you been up to? Oh, all sort. Listen, you've no time tonight, have you? What day is it? Wednesday. Then no. Mind, if you'd have said Tuesday and Thursday, I'd still have said no. Mm. A Monday, a Friday. Only, let's have a drink later. There's something I want to talk to you about. Apparently, she's taken to ringing Emily every day. Still going on about how we should be getting back together again. Maybe she's right. Thank you, pardon. I just think, looking back, your mother taught a lot of sense. Not while I was around. No, I'm serious. I was going to raise the topic if you hadn't. I do think... Well, yeah, we should try again. And I thought we were going to have a really nice meal. You will. I'm not going to go on and on at you for something you don't want to hear. Well... But your mother was right. We were very, very good together. And let's face it. We've neither of us found much happiness with anyone else since. Well, I've gone a minute. Oh, for, for all sorts of reasons, I know. But what I'd like, what I desperately want, what I long for more than anything else in the world, is for us to try again. Let's order, shall we? We're neither of us what you'd call practicing Christians, but we do want to get married in a church. Well, in a church just like this one. Nice, isn't it? I know the building shouldn't matter, but... Oh, it does. <laughs> so, neither of you have been married before? No. No. Are you both baptised? Yeah. Uh, yes. Right, well, I'll get the diary, shall I? We'll see what dates are available. Uh, before you do, I think Mrs Bishop might have mentioned that there are unusual circumstances. Yes, I've been wondering what she could have meant. I'm a transsexual. Right. I was born male, so legally I still am, though not in any other way. 
which we know means you're not supposed to marry us, but we think that's wrong. And we hope you'll think it's wrong as well and you'll feel able to do it. I see. Yes. Well, we we, we realise that, that there wouldn't be the civil side to the ceremony. No, no, that doesn't matter. What matters is it would be a proper wedding in, in a proper church. Well, you'll have to give me time to think about this and to pray about it. What you said about us... Yeah. I'm not doubting that you mean it. But? Well, for one thing, I don't think it would even have crossed your mind if we hadn't had my mother going on about it since before Christmas. I think you might have done. But all right, she forced the issue, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so what if she's right? And I know you have a problem with that. You don't ever like admitting she's right about anything. Well, she's not. Yeah, but I think this time she might be. Anyway, forget about my mother. As it is, we both live in the same street, what, 50 yards apart. We can call on each other for help or a bit of company. We can see each other whenever we want. <laughs> What's to be gained from moving in together? Well, exactly that. Not being 50 yards apart, not being on our own. <sighs> there are advantages to that. Well, I don't know what they are. OK. Suppose, and I'm only saying suppose, suppose we were to start seeing a bit more of each other, going out together. Well, just see what happens. But why? To get to know each other, you mean? Well, yeah, just as a first step. But why do we need it? I don't know. A first step? We've known each other for 20 years. So, it has to be moving in. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're not just frightened of growing old, Ken? Growing old on your own, so you need someone to look after you? Could be. Yeah, that could be part of it. I'm sorry. That wasn't fair. No, no, we have to say these things. We've got to be absolutely honest with each other, otherwise forget it. Yeah, maybe I am frightened of growing old alone. But that doesn't mean I want just anybody. I want you. But you're saying what? You're saying no? I don't know what I'm saying. I thought she seemed very sympathetic. So why couldn't she just say yeah? Why does she have to pray about it? Well, it's probably a very difficult decision for her. I don't see why. She's supposed to be a Christian, supposed to want folk to be happy. Yes, but she holds an official position within the Church of England. So? Well, so she's probably got to consult people, bishops and such like. I mean, you've got to see it from her point of view. No, no, I haven't. No, just for once, I'd like somebody to see it from mine. Yes, well... <laughs> I am going on at you, I don't know. Let, let, let's have a drink. Right. Well, I said I had something I wanted to talk to you about, and it's to do with the shop. Oh, something I'm getting wrong? Oh, it's something I think I'm getting wrong. I just think I've been unfair, throwing everything at you like I have, putting everything on your shoulders. No, that's OK. Well, but wouldn't it be better if we had a sort of handing over period where we ran the shop together for a few months? I thought that's what we were doing already. I mean, you're still around if I need to ask you out. Yeah. Look, instead of giving the shop straight away, why don't we have a sort of partnership, 50-50? I'm still saying one day it'll all be yours, just not yet. <laughs> well, sorry, but I thought it were mine already. Yes, but... But you've changed your mind, is that it? You want to go back on what you've said and on what you've told everybody and on what I've told everybody. Just cos I think it'll be better. Well, it wouldn't be. Not for me. Well, I think it would. Well, I can't see how. All I can see is that you've made a big song and dance about giving it to me. And now you're saying you want half back? Well, I'm sorry you feel like that about it. Yeah, I'm sorry and all. 
Sorry I ever believed you in the first place. Off to Rovers if you fancy it. Oh, uh, fancy it, yeah, but I, I'd better not. Oh, no, I wasn't thinking. She's all right, isn't she? Yeah, fine. Well, at least I'll be out your old. I'm not doing the drying as well. Lee, uh, look, I, I, I'm sorry about today the way it's been. Yeah, I suppose I'd rather know the truth. No, listen. If you want this baby, if you really do, then we'll have it, okay? Well, that makes a change from what you were saying. No, it, it's not, not really. I mean, if it was just me, then I'd probably still be saying I'm not ready for it. Not yet. But obviously, it's not just me, it's you as well, and, and you do want it. Oh, well, thanks. What? Well, it doesn't make it right easy for me, does it? You saying, yeah, go ahead, have it. Yes. Yeah. After you've spent the whole day telling me how much you don't want it. And so it'll be you making all the sacrifices, and it'll be me to blame when you don't get your precious qualifications, and we end up spending the rest of our lives living in a pokey little house like my mum and dad. I'm not trying to sell it. Obviously, you've got to want it as well. Look, Ken, I'm... I'm very fond of you. You know that. Well, that's not a bad start. But what if... Well, it, if we were to give it a try and it didn't work out, I mean, what sort of nightmare would that be? Well, sure, but nothing in life is fully guaranteed. And I'll do everything, everything in my power to make it work. Everything. What? Was that funny? No, no. I was just wondering what my mum's going to say. You mean, uh, I'll it... give it a try, yeah. See what happens. But you'll have to tell her. <laughs> I'd be delighted. 